Hey there everybody, this is Ryan once again with HotPieceOfApps.com and I'm bringing you another hot tip video. Now today's video, we're going to look at Tableau once again and I'm going to show you a technique I used to create dynamic image loading in my dashboard. Recently on the website, I posted this visualization and this shows the 9293 Phoenix Suns. This is one of my favorite teams. Uh, it's the last time the Phoenix Suns have been to the playing for the championship in the finals. Now, as you can see, when I select a different player that I've loaded in from the data source, not only does the bio and statistics change, but the actual player profile image changes as well. So let me show you how I did that. Well, first off, I want to say that this is not a image object that you pull in from your dashboard design. This is actually a chart itself. If I go to the sheet, you can see I've set this up by using a shape chart. I've brought in the player field that holds all of our players. And you can see here we have already a definition from Oliver Miller in this image. But how did I get the actual picture of Oliver Miller into Tableau? Well, that's a good question. You can see here that I have a folder. This is under My Documents my Tableau repository which is created on the installation of either Tableau desktop or Tableau public and there's a shapes folder these are actually by default all the shapes I added this new Suns folder and put in all of the images I also did a little bit extra work by customizing the images in Photoshop so that they were all similar dimensions then what I did was go into the player option and I clicked on edit shape now here we have only one value because of this filter but let me show you this if I remove this then we have all of our players I'll go back into edit shape and what you're gonna do here is you're gonna hit reload shape and that's going to repull all the folders that were in that shapes folder and you can see here I already have my son's folder and the thumbnails are tiny microscopic thumbnails of three of my images. Then from that point on, all I have to do is select the name and click on the image. I could easily change Cedric Sabalas to a picture of Danny Ainge or back to Cedric Sabalas. I hit apply and OK. And then all I have to do is bring that back into my dashboard. Now one thing, let me control Z so I have that single player filter. And from here, now I've given it a name, and I can do different things, like change the fit. Also, in order to get this the size I wanted, I had to adjust the slide slider for the size. Notice if I bring it a little bit larger, it's going to bring this much larger. So let me bring that back down to where I want that to be. And that fits pretty well. So hopefully you can use this for different fields where you have dynamic images appear so that people can not only see the visualization of your data, but just get a visualization of what the heck you're talking about.